So now we have, we have the extensible flex wheel. It is EFF. Okay, so we have discussed KFF, DFF, now EFF. Okay, so EFF is similar to DFF, but have some additional features. Values are stored in separate database. You can define as many contexts as you want without any limitations. Okay. Third one. You can define multi-row context in case of one too many use cases. Okay. So so we will we will define one EIT. So we have EIT called person EIT. So this is the EIT. Okay. So we will use this EIT for uh, different contexts. Okay. So we, we we will we will try to see this one. So additional person details for ADP payroll. For this Indian miscellaneous information, we have this number of characters. Okay, so same is available here. Okay, if you click on Indian miscellaneous information, so same is available here. Okay, so okay. The, the, the same extra information. Okay, so why? Because this extra information for India, it will be different. For Canada, it will be different. For Italy, it will be different. So that's why they will have different type of information here. So it is a one type of extra information. Okay, then we will start the topic called document of records. Okay, so we will have document of record. Okay, so basically this is uh, in Oracle Cloud. In Oracle Cloud, so basically we, we create document of record to give employees flexibility to upload soft copy of the documents like example passport details so once we join the company we need to give a lot of detail like uh, other details to upload so oracle has give, given a concept called documents of record with the documents of record we can upload ourselves the, uh, the, the required the, document uh, the required document so like uh, medical result okay uh, visa copy and if you if you want to uh, degree certificates and if you want to if you want to reimburse something so if you want to uh, apply you you have taken medical reimbursement if you want to upload the documents medical reimbursement uh, travel reimbursement so all the all type of documents we can upload here so we can scan and we can upload so in the form of pdf okay so for this purpose these documents of records was created so we have n number of documents for these documents of records we can create approvals as well we can create approvals for the documents for example uh, you have you have requested for travel reimbursement 10000 or uh, 10000 rupees so it will go for approval so it will go for approval hr up, uh, first it will go for hr then hr manager then it will go for head of the department Okay, otherwise it, it, we can configure like it will go for first line manager, then HR and then HR head. So like that we will create a number of approvals. And also we can uh, we can we can enable uh, DFF in the, uh, we have created DFF. Now we can enable DFF, uh, DFF in the uh, documents of records. Okay. So today we will, we will start with an example called travel expenses. Okay. Uh, let's consider it, uh, it. This is an example. So we will uh, we will discuss the example and we will create this in the application. Okay. So it will have the fields like. So this if, is the example we are creating for the DOR. Ah uh, yes, correct. Okay. So purpose of travel. Okay. So the field should be free text. Means you can enter anything. So basically, travel date. See whether it is billable or non billable. Okay. The project name. So basically, for which project you are going? Reimbursement amount. So, how much amount you are reimbursing? 
so basically the client will give the requirement like this so we need the, this this number of fields so the field type will be like this so either they will give in the excel sheet or any any word document to us so we need to see and we need to create that one list of values so expense type, what type of expenses? It should be list of values. So you know, you no need to enter. It should be, it should display as a list of values. So in this document of record, you can see all types of value sets. Okay, I will show how we will create. So the list of values should have per diem. So per diem is whenever we travel. Uh, so for example, if for a for a particular project, we go for an on-site. Uh, let's consider you go for US. So per day for the expenses like for food travel they will give some amount like for 100 apart from accommodation they will give 100 100 dollars per every day so that is called per diem so expenses are per day so the for the marketing people they give you know for the, for for traveling and food and uh, they will give every month for for every day they will collect it and then they give some amount no that is called per diem fair taxi hotel and we will have so it will be a free text Okay, so basically we will we will create this travel expenses in the application so to achieve above requirement we need to create below set, setup steps uh, first we need to do the below setups so first we will create the called category then we will create the so we will create a category called reimbursement reimbursement and under under this we will have two subcategories so a yeah, travel expense visa expense so basically this is travel expense for visa expenses as of now we didn't discuss any fields so we will create only travel expense for visa expenses we will create only one type visa expense for visa amount we will create only one field okay so basically doc this is document types okay we, we can create approval for this okay Approval we will discuss later. So once we completed after the after documents of records, uh, we will have area of responsibility. So once the area of responsibility is completed, then we will uh, we will discuss the approvals. So first step is that we need to create the reimbursement. So by reimbursement we can create by using the lookup. Okay, we have a lookup called. So to create that one, we need to go to manage common lookups. You need to go to manage common lookups. So in the manage common lookup, you need to search for document category. So these are predefined given by Oracle. Document underscore. So in the document category, we will create the create a category called. So under this, we will have lookup codes. We have different type of lookup codes here. So we will create our lookup code. So it is called reimbursement. So we are creating the new one. AP, AP reimbursement why I have created to understand for ourselves. So this is created by us. So it is just a name. Okay. So basically what is it? It is reimbursement. So description also reimbursement amount. Okay. So first we have created the lookup. Okay. Then so we need to create the subcategories. So to create subcategories, we need to go to extended lookup calls we have another thing to call manage extendable lookup calls so here we will search what is the lookup which we have created in the first step we are creating ap reimbursement ah yes sir. for ap reimbursement we need to create two subcategories so here we want two types one is ap underscore travel travel expense so this is called travel expenses the meaning is travel expense is okay so the country we will leave it country so it will be available for our countries so another another one is reimbursement so we'll have ap visa travel actually first and two ships are optional why because without this category and subcategories also we can create the we can create the documents of records actual document of records start from here okay so we will have the document types so we, we need to go to the document types types and then we will create the so this is actual navigation for documents of record okay so we have the document type if ap travel reimbursement okay so this will be the name of the document type so here we need to give it should be displayed for all categories 
and we have the category called reimburse reimbursement okay we have subcategory of two so we have travel expenses travel expense. okay uh, minimum attachment so if you want any uh, uh, documents to be attached we need to mention here okay so as of now i am not giving any attachments so, so we, let, let's say we will give one attachment we will see the attachments as well okay expiration notification is nothing but so it will it will send a notification uh, if the document expiry date was there any such okay if if any documentation expiration date, date is there for example by before 31st of january you need to submit okay so actually basically uh, so expiration notification period will give uh, what is the expiration date of this particular document? For, for example, if you want to submit the document before 31st, if it will send a notification. So before 31st, you need to submit the submit the uh, document. Okay. So for that, we can give the dates. Okay. So it is it is asking for approval if required. As of now, it is the approval is not required. So allow multiple occurrences for means for the same document, we can attach multiple times. Okay. I am I am giving S. So what if this publish if required means if you put put S. Okay, so it will be available only for a specific time. But as of now, we it should be available throughout the time. Okay. So if it, what is we will give a travel reimbursement uh, expenses for so this is the travel reimbursement. So these are the heuristic create means it will not be allow for anyone to create or update the document but our purpose is to we need to give them so we they they need to create the documents of records and they need to upload the documents so that that's why we we are giving restrict uh, we are not restricting them so you can create you can update and you can delete okay so these are the attributes okay it is required document name available uh, so remaining all are not required okay again we will search so we have two categories now we need to create another category as well search so, yeah so we can create a duplicate so we will create similar type of this one so we, we can create we can create a duplicate one visa reimbursement so it will be visa type so remaining so remaining all are same okay submit so we have we have created two one is travel reimbursement another is visa reimbursement okay then the next step is so now comes the context based so what are the fields we are we are seeing we need to create all these fields so for that we need to go to we have dff for documents of records also so we have person we have persons also uh, we have assignment and we have yesterday we have created a dff now we so we have documents of records for sorry dff for documents of records as well so this is the document of records so you need to go to manage context and you need to create the context just wait so basically we need to get the context okay we got this document calls okay this is required so now so we are creating the context for ap travel so for ap travel what are the fields we required purpose of travel okay basically it's a free test so for today we will stop here we will continue tomorrow okay